Because of the galloping inflation this Prime Minister has caused, two-thirds of Canadians say they are cutting back on summer vacations, and one-quarter say they've cancelled their vacations altogether, but they'll still have to pay for someone else's vacation. $160,000 of taxpayer expenses for the Prime Minister to go down to the private villa, luxurious villa, of a super-rich Trudeau Foundation donor, for which the nightly cost is as much as nine thousand dollars. How much did the Prime Minister pay for his accommodations at this luxurious village? Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, our family have been good friends with this family for about 50 years, and as always, uh, we work with the Ethics Commissioner to make sure that all rules are followed. But if Mr. Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition, was truly concerned about affordability for Canadians, he would be voting to support our budget uh, that right. puts forward concrete measures to help Canadians from coast to coast to coast. He'd be fast-tracking the grocery rebate through this House to make sure that we can deliver as quickly as possible help to 11 million Canadians, and he wouldn't have stood to vote against the dental care supports that already helped about 250,000 young people right across this country. Sure, sure. Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Here, this is a, vi a villa that rents out commercially for as much as $9,000 per night. If any other Canadian had stayed there, that's what they would have to have paid, and they would have to pay for their own airfare, not having a private jet. This Prime Minister wants us to believe that these... Trudeau, do Trudeau Foundation donors offered him $9,000 a night vacation for nothing. We know nothing is free, Mr. Speaker. This is about influence and power for the super rich. So why won't he answer? How much should he pay in accommodation per night at this luxurious villa? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. I guess, Mr. Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition struggles with the concept of friendship, Mr. Speaker. My father was godfather uh, to one of their kids. Uh, my, their, their father was godfather to one of my brothers. This is 50 years of friendship, Mr. Speaker. Uh, but, of course, we work with the Ethics Commissioners to make sure everything, uh, all the rules were followed. But uh, if uh, the Leader of the Opposition wants to talk about friendships, let's talk about the fact that he's running to his American billionaire tech giant's friends to attack the local news that Canadians are relying on. Shame on him for going after Canadian content, Canadian news, Canadian things that people care about. Honourable Leader of the Opposition. The only thing Canadian about the Prime Minister's vacation is the tax dollars forced to pay for it, Mr. Speaker. But he refuses to answer the question. He knows that there's the, the, these powerful interests are buying influence while making the Prime Minister more out of touch with the people on whom he is imposing his inflationary taxes and deficits. This is consistent with having already been found guilty for taking a quarter million dollar vacation from a billionaire that was seeking a government grant from him. If he's got nothing to hide, will he tell us, did he take these $9,000 a night villas for free? Wow. The right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, as the Leader of the Opposition knows well, there are certain security protocols that the RCMP need to follow for all Prime Ministers, regardless of political parties or partisan stripes. But again, Mr. Speaker, uh, if the Leader of the Opposition was genuinely cared about affordability for Canadians, he would be voting in favour of our dental benefits that are helping uh, hundreds of thousands of kids right now and will help millions of Canadians into the future, but he voted against it. He voted against tax cuts for the middle class while we raise them on the wealthiest 1%. And now he's running to his American billionaire buddies to go after local news for Canadians. That's not what Canadians... The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Speaker, this from a guy who took a $160,000 taxpayer-funded trip to a private villa for which there was no security reason that he couldn't pay for his own room. He took a $6,000 a night a vacation in London, two weeks in, in Costa Rica in the middle of the summer, yep. surfing in Tofino on Truth and Reconciliation Day at taxpayer's expense, and a guilty verdict for staying at Billionaire Island. Mr. Speaker, this Prime Minister is out of touch and Canadians are out of money. When will he stop with these vacations and start working for the people in this country? Right Honourable Prime Minister. 
Speaker, if the Conservative leader cared as much about Canadians as he does about partisan attacks, he would actually be stepping up to support our delivery of direct benefits to Canadians. He continues to stand against the child care agreements uh, that are down to $10 a day, a day in uh, six provinces and territories across the country, and saving already Canadians right across the country hundreds and hundreds of dollars every single month. He'd be standing in favour of the dental care supports that we're sending to hundreds hundreds of thousands of kids instead of continuing to vote against them. He'd be accelerating the delivery of the grocery rebate to help 11 million Canadians.